Hi guys, welcome back to Digital Rec Check. I'm Miss Molly. I'm Miss Amelia, and today's theme is weather. Okay, so for your guys' check-in today, the question is, what is your favorite type of weather? Miss Amelia, what's yours? So I like storm weather, like a lot of rain and stuff like that. How about you? Um, I like summer weather, but when there's a little bit of breeze, mm -hmm. so it's not too hot. Right. Okay, so now for today's riddle. Miss Amelia, do you want to read it? Dropping from the sky more beautiful than rain. There are no two pieces that'll ever look the same. What am I? Hmm. Why don't you guys think about that and see if you can come up with the answer. If not, we'll give it to you later. Okay, so moving on to today's word. The word is desire, which means a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. Hmm. Can you guys think of something that you desire? Okay, so now we're going to move on to today's craft project. Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be making a weather wheel. So as you can see, um, this one is rainy, sunny, windy, and then cloudy. So all you'll need is a paper plate, um, some cotton balls, some markers, and some glue. So our first step is we're going to take a black marker and we are just going to draw a X on the piece of paper or paper plate. And then we're just going to do the other side. So it should look like this. So for our first one, we're going to put cloudy. Like that. And then for our next one, we're going to put windy, like that. And then this one, we're going to put sunny, just like that. And then we are going to put rainy. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the sun. So I'm going to use a yellow marker and then I'm going to go to the sunny one. And I'm just going to draw a circle and color it in. And then give it some points. That's what my son looks like. You can get as um, artistic as you want. That is just the basic sun that I drew. So now we are going to go to rain. So I'm gonna draw an umbrella and I'm gonna make mine pink. You can make yours whatever color you want. So how I draw my umbrella is I just draw a hump like that. And then I just fill in the bottom with like spikes almost just like that and then I'm just going to color it in So then the next thing that we're going to do is draw the handles. So I'm going to draw mine with purple and I'm just going to draw the hook like that. And then all that's left for this one is just to draw in the rain. So I'm just going to make little bubbles of rain scattered all over. So then I'm just going to switch colors just to make more of them. So that is what my rain looks like. As you notice, I didn't put any underneath here because obviously the umbrella is making it not go underneath. It's catching all the rain. 
So now I'm gonna move to the cloudy one. And for this one, we're just gonna take some glue and we're just going to put down the glue on the paper plate. And then we're just gonna take our cotton balls and we're just gonna put it right like that. And just push it down to make sure that they stay. So that's what that one looks like. And then for the windy one, this one you can't really see wind, so I'm just gonna draw squiggly marks all over. You can do this one how you want to. So that is what my wind looks like. So for your challenge today, that is to practice a tornado emergency with your family in your house. And I'll be right back for your outdoor objective. Welcome back. So your outdoor objective for today is to go outside and predict what the weather will be like for the rest of today. Okay, so now moving on to today's riddle. The riddle was dropping from the sky more beautiful than rain. There are no two pieces that'll ever look the same. What am I? Did you guys come up with the answer? Well, the answer is a snowflake. Mm. Did you guys know that no snowflake looks exactly the same as another? I know it's not snowing right now, um, but when it snows again, maybe next winter, try to catch two snowflakes and see what they look like. Okay, so moving on to today's reflection. How does Minnesota weather make you feel, especially during winter and summer? Mm. Okay, think about that. Well, thank you for another great week of Digital Rec Check, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.